Have you ever wondered what you need to airbag your mini track? Well, you come to the right place. In this episode, we're gonna break it down on the cost and the parts you need. First of all, we are basing all this off a cantilever setup and a bag over diff setup versus AccuAir versus airlift for all your self-leveling. So this is what you need as a complete kit. This gives you the rough idea of how much each weight costs and hopefully breaks it down simplified so you can understand it. So if you're a person that likes to buy parts all in one go, then take it to a workshop and get them all to do it, this is probably the perfect episode for you because we're gonna break down all the key parts you need. So the first thing you need to decide when you're building your mini truck on the rear setup, are you doing cantilever or are you doing bag over diff? Now they're two different things, cantilever, triangulated, bag over diff is like it says, bag on top of the diff. And Merck's Garage supply both kits so you can decide which one you want, that comes with everything. So they do a bag over diff and they do a cantilever setup. The cantilever four link kit from Merck's Garage starts at $969. The bag over diff four link kit starts at $895. Next up, you need a 20 inch notch kit, which Mex Garage also supply. They're $130. They do have bigger sizes for 22 inch, a little bit more expensive. Depending on what kit you go, you might need to buy bag mounts, which are also $95. If you are gonna airbag the front, you need wheel tubs. And if you're airbagging the rear, you're gonna need wheel tubs also, if you're running a tub. They are $55 each. So you can imagine it adds up pretty quick. So next up, we're gonna talk about some parts from Air Ride Suspension down in Melbourne. So air ride suspension do full kits for your self leveling. They do an AccuAir E level plus touchpad kit, which has everything in it. That comes in $2,095, which is quite expensive, but you're paying for quality. You also need to get an AccuAir valve block, which you're going to buy separate, but it's $6.99 and you need that. That's a must. Now, if you want to go airlift, which is a different setup, a little bit more expensive, it's just as good quality. They do the airlift performance 3H for 2895 which also comes with a touchpad, all the wiring and all the sensors. We recommend you getting the self-leveling kit as it is required for engineering purposes. And it is pretty cool to have. Like you can set it up however you want. You can do a bunch of different settings on both touchpads of both brands. One you can have when you're sitting in the car and as soon as you turn it on, the car rises up to the right height. Just a cool little feature. Next up is the airbags. Now there's a bunch of different brands. There's Firestone, Slam Specialties and Dominator. Most mini trucks around these days use slam specialty bags, which price around $200 to $250 each, and you do need four of them if you're building just a standard truck. So it adds up pretty high in the cost, just for airbags. And when it comes to airbags and all your lines and everything, you're gonna to need to buy fittings. Each fitting varies between $5 and $30, and depending on how many bags you got, or versus what, if you've got a valve block, you're gonna need various different sizes or fittings. So that also adds up. So with air tanks, there's a massive range of different style air tanks. You can go to normal three gallon, you can go five gallon, you can go all the way up to six scale. You can go AccuAir endo tanks, which have the air compressor already inside the air tank, which is a lot more expensive, it's about $2,000. But if you just want to go sort of a simple setup, you can buy normal air tanks, say a five gallon for about 150 bucks. Now with the air tanks, you do need a pressure switch. There's a bunch of different uh, pressure ratios that are on air ride, there's some from 150 to 175 PSI. So with airline, determine what you want with your truck, if you want it to go slow, coming up and down, or you want to go quick, like I personally recommend, just for my opinion, it's a lot more fun. 3 8 line per meter is about $3, half inch line is about $4 per meter. You will need a minimum of six meters, just so you got a bit extra spare if you need it. But then again, find out where you're going, if you're on cantilever or four link, airline can vary between what setup you have. Also, if you're gonna go airline and you wanna go hardline, it's a lot more expensive and a lot more tricky, but it does give a better finish. 3 8 hardline is about $80 for 25 feet, and I'd recommend buying probably double that because it is tricky trying to get the airlines right. Next up, you've got gauges. You're always gonna need a gauge to check your pressures in your airbags so you can find out if there's any leaks or if you wanna keep it sort of the level height when you're driving. They are priced between $25 and $200, depending on how many gauges you want, if you want to buy them separate, meter and housing, etc., etc. The list goes on. And air compressors, 
This will determine how quick you want your truck to air up and fill up the tank. I recommend 480s, twin 480Cs via air compressors. They're a great package. A lot of mini truckers use them. Also by a compressor harness, it always helps you out in the long run, which is about $89. So another thing that sort of doesn't really get looked at is if your airbag in the front and you put wheel tubs in and your battery gets in the way, buy a battery relocation kit, put your battery in a tub like most people do these days. It's a bit safer and it gives you more room. So on top of all the cost or buying all the parts, Keep a little spare because you never know what you're going to have to buy if it's at the workshop. For instance, if something goes wrong with the wiring, you've got to buy a new wiring harness or something. Keep money spare so you can get that. Extra relays. Just little things, little various things that you might not need at first, but you never know halfway through the build. So what's all the cost all added up once you buy all your parts you need for your truck? This is before you go to a workshop. It's pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie, it's pretty expensive. All these parts do add up. I do have a package here, which is priced around certain setups. So the first setup is an AccuAir cantilever setup. And the price of that comes in at 7,508, which is pretty up there. That's a lot of money, that's just for parts. The AccuAir bag over diff setup is also a pricey route to go down. That is 76,17. If you go on airlift on the cantilever setup, that comes in at 8,308, which is a little bit more expensive than AccuAir. There's also the airlift bag over diff kit that comes in at 8228. So just parts alone is just over $8,000. That's a lot of money just to buy parts before you even put in the cost of labor. So when it comes to workshops, there's plenty of workshops around Australia that can specialize in mini trucks and building a mini truck. Now the cost of it, that's where it gets expensive. So depending on which workshop you go to, the price per hour does vary and depends on which workshop you go to. Seen workshops start at $50 an hour, seen other workshops finish at $150 an hour. So that all depends on which workshop you go to, depending on how much per hour it is. All right, so that's added up. So we're gonna base this one off an AccuAir bag over diff setup if you take it to a workshop and pay the cost of 100 hours to get it done. At $100 an hour, at 100 hours, it adds up to 10 grand. That's just in labor. So I'd recommend it's gonna be a minimum of 20 grand to build your truck. That's based on off 100 hours at $100 an hour. It could add up to 100 grand, you never know. It all depends on which way you're gonna go with the truck, how you're gonna build it, and what's the end game with it. Because as soon as you add engine combinations, interior, wheels, performance, it, it adds up real quick. It is a lot of money to do it, but it is rewarding at the end of it. When you can cruise down the streets with your mates, you can drag it, you can drive low everywhere, everyone sees you. Not many people build trucks these days, which is a bit unfortunate. So to highly recommend saving up some money, taking your truck to a workshop and getting it done. Engineering can vary between $600 and three grand. It depends on which engineer you go. So at the end of the day, your truck must be engineered to comply, to be registered on the road. So it is gonna cost you a lot of money to get your truck on the road, but it's highly beneficial. So this gives you an insight of what it costs to build a mini truck and what you need to do it. So like and subscribe. Keep on trucking.